So what's going on guys, the truck guy here. Today we're doing a video on installing or replacing a light fixture. Guys, electricity, light fixtures, it can be a little intimidating at first. So it's good to watch a couple videos. Really guys, once you get the hang of it, it's not too complicated, but I wanted to get you a video, explain the process, because upgrading and replacing light fixtures in your house is a great way to improve the quality of your house get better light in a room or around your house. So really a quick and easy job, but you've gotta have the right tools and you, and you have to know what you're doing. So what do you need to start this job? You need a new light fixture. So I just picked up a, a two light flush mount. Um, I've installed this one before and like it a lot. Rubber gloves, not a necessity, but uh, can be really helpful. Just you know, make sure you've got grip on different things during the the uh the project i've got a a step ladder here so i've just got like about a four and a half foot step ladder but depending on how high your light is you might need a ladder um you know you might not need anything at all so just um you've got to get up close enough to your light fixture to work on it um, additionally a couple utility knives have to have utility knives guys but uh a couple of those can be helpful for cutting wire couple electricity testers those are great um, you know just to verify the powers off um, you don't want electricity running to your job you need to be extra extra careful with electricity so a couple of those to test against you, test against each other is always good and then a wire cutter and stripper uh, for stripping your wire and then I've got a bucket of screwdrivers here you only need you know probably a Phillips, but uh, you know, it's good to have a few on hand so you've got the right uh, screwdriver for the job. So guys, that's it. Let's go ahead and jump into the job and get it started. Let's do it, guys. All right, so you've got your tools laid out. Next step is come down to your circuit breaker, open your panel, and you've got to figure out which one is the right one for the room you're working in. So worst case scenario, you can have someone, uh, if you have another person at home, stand with a cell phone in one room, you can try out some switches. But uh, if you've got labeling, it should be on the side here, and you can pick out the room that you think it is, and then you just, Flip your breaker off and that should kill power to the room and then you go up test with your electricity testers make sure you're all good um, but guys this is an important step so come to your breaker turn off your electricity make sure it's not running to that room and that fixture anymore all right guys so we've got our power off and what we want to do is check to see if there's any electricity running to the fixture. You can also check on the switch as well. But we put our testers up. We're not getting any uh, illumination, any beeps. So guys, that means we don't have any electricity um, running to the fixture here. So what I'm going to do now is get the old fixture off the ceiling, so let's go ahead and take this down, get everything exposed, and then we'll get the new one back up. So this is where we need our screwdriver.
So we've got the light fixture down. Again, that should be a really, really easy part of the job, but in this case, it was not so easy. Um, the bolts, uh, or the, the screws for that matter, were rusty. They were stripped. Um, so not an easy task, but uh, let me bring you in a little bit closer here. And you can see we've got white, black, and we've got a ground. So you may have an older house. If you do, you're going to have other wires. Do some research, but at the end of the day, black, white, brown, that's what you need. So what you go ahead and do now is just unscrew your black, unscrew your white with the wire nuts. But something to be careful of, guys, if you've got a more complex setup, always, always, always take a picture of it before you take your old fixture down. So that's never the fun part, guys, getting the old fixture down because there's always something unexpected that comes up. But let's see what we've got here with the new fixture. So it looks like we've got a new bracket if we want to put that on, or we may, may just use the existing bracket. We'll see uh, what we think. And then here's the base part of the, the new fixture. Um, so that's going to be what we mount right to the ceiling where we had the old one. And then we've got the glass portion of our fixture. It's gonna hold the, uh, the bulbs, make it look nice. We'll see if we even got any bulbs here, guys. Nope, no bulbs. So they're chinsing out on us a little bit, guys, but uh, that's okay. We'll, we'll throw some bulbs in, it's just two, so we'll do okay. So that's what we've got in the box and uh, we'll go ahead and get the new fixture up now. So now that we've got our old fixture down, we unboxed our new fixture. We saw what we got inside. Um, it tends to vary a little bit with, uh, with every project, guys. Um, you know, in every box you open, there's gonna be a little bit different parts in there. Um, a couple things that popped up right away, guys. Um, the screws that were um, holding up the old fixture Probably can't see that, but this is just rusted to, to hell. So we don't want to put those back up. So we're going to use the, the new screws that were provided with the new fixture. Um, also, I'm not going to reuse the old wire nuts. Again, just what we saw, you know, in the old fixture, just not the, uh, the best equipment. So picked up some some new wire nuts um, just at Home Depot. These are just a couple bucks. So pick up a pack of these and, and get some new wire nuts. And also I'm going to try to install the, the new bracket that uh, was provided with the fixture. You don't always have to do this because if you've got a bracket up there, um, you know, you may just want to end up going with that bracket. It's a small bracket that that's up there right now, but I'm going to go ahead and do my best to get the old bracket down, get this new one up, and then um, we'll go from there in terms of getting the, the uh, new fixture in place. So let's go.
this is the old bracket guys just rusted to hell so that's why I want to get it out got no I can't even talk guys I want to get this bracket out of here and get uh, get our new one in So we'll get ground to ground um, right away here. bring in just a little bit closer. Something I just forgot, guys, run everything through your bracket to start. So, amateur mistake, amateur mistake. It's okay, guys. We all make them. So guys, I was thinking about not replacing that bracket, but I'm really happy I did. The old bracket was rusted out, and now we've got a very nice, secure new bracket up here that's ready to go. We've got our wiring. We can, uh, got some extra ground. We don't need that, guys, so you can either you can shorten it up a little bit or just kind of get it up in the, uh, the electrical box there. So we've got our white and we've got our black so let's go ahead and get our new fixture and i uh, get rolling here
All right, so the easiest way to get your new fixture up, guys, especially if you're if you're new, you haven't done this before. So, assuming it's not too heavy of a fixture, what you want to do is get two of your wires together. So, we'll go white to white to start. There may be a particular order for this, but uh, as long as your power's off, which it needs to be, guys it's not going to be a huge deal. So what you want to do is twist the wires together. And then once your wires are together, you go ahead and twist on the wire nut until those are nice and secure. So you get a nice firm connection. Then guys, you're going to want to take your black, black to black, if you can see that, twist black and black together. This is always the toughest part of the job guys when you've got something heavy that you're holding up. And go ahead and twist that wire nut on. And once your wire nuts are secure, you should be able to leave the new fixture, you know, as long as it's not too heavy hanging there. So that should work. And then we do have a ground wire on this new fixture. So We can connect our ground to our ground. So we'll just use the same wire nut procedure for our ground. Alright guys, so then what we've got remaining is our, our uh, ground wire here, the copper wire, and we'll just secure that copper wire to our ground terminal here on the, the bracket. So now we've got our black, our white, and our ground all connected. So what we want to do next is kind of shove everything up into the electrical box here. It's not a huge opening, so we need to push everything up there we can and then secure these screws into the old fixture and get it mounted up above here. All right, guys, so I need to improvise a little bit. Um, I've got a really outdated electrical box up here. Um, so I'm actually going to have to, I've only got two um, points to go into with my screws. So I'm going to have to run right through 
the fixture into the electrical box and up into the ceiling. So it's going to be a tight fit, but uh, again, sometimes you got to do what you got to do here on the electrical side of things. So let's go ahead and run this and uh, see what happens. So what we'll do guys is we'll run our All right guys, so I've actually only got two points on my electrical box here to run into the bracket. So what we've got to do is secure the bracket first with our screws and then we'll hook on our fixture. So let's go ahead and get the bracket in place. We've got these nice long screws, so that's very helpful. And sometimes, guys, um, you can get the bracket secured on your electrical box, and then you've still got some holes to go into. But looking at the dimensions, I'm kind of stuck with just these two, so um, and I don't have any extra uh, points to go into on my box, so. So we've got our screws in place. Let's go ahead and push everything up and into the electrical box that we can. Again, it's going to be a tight squeeze. Then we'll push our fixture up and there we go. Now we've got our fixture in place and now we just tighten it up to the ceiling. You don't need to be overly tight here, guys, but just tight enough where you don't have any wiggle, you don't have any wobble. Seems very secure. So let's go ahead and get two bulbs in. And now we'll go ahead and go downstairs and turn our breaker on. All right, guys, so thanks for hanging with me. Hopefully you got a good enough view of that or at least could follow along with the steps to help you out. So it's the moment of truth. We've got the breaker back on. Let's see what this light does. There we go guys, we've got two bulbs, we've got illumination, we've got power, everything looks to be working beautifully. So that's great. Now for the last step guys, you take your light cover, you line it up with the indentations. Give it a turn. You're good to go guys. You've got a beautiful new light installed. Give it a little dusting, give it a little cleaning, but uh, you're good to go guys.
All right, so I wanted to bring you off the tripod. You were up super close for a while. That's what the new fixture looks like. I think it's a, a great upgrade over what was in there before. A lot cleaner, a lot sharper. It looks great and great illumination throughout the room. So, so that's it, guys. Um, the truck guy changing the light. Hopefully I made it easy for you. Hopefully you can follow along, but we've got more content coming as always. Um, comment down below if there's any jobs you want me to tackle um, that would be good um, to help you out around the house and yard. So we've got more stuff coming. Stay tuned, guys. So that's it. Please like, please subscribe, and as always, we'll talk to you on the next video.